And we have a breaking news alert here, a trade in the NBA. The Utah Jazz are sending Rudy Gobert to the Minnesota Timberwolves in exchange. Utah receives, are you ready? Malik Beasley, our friend Patrick Beverly, Jared Vanderbilt, Walker Kessler, who was Minnesota's first round pick just this year, and multiple future first round picks. All of this according to our Adrian Wojnarowski. If you saw a first take this morning, you heard Brian Windhorst suggest that something might be up with the Utah Jazz, and it was. Yeah, the Jazz also made a trade yesterday to get a first round pick. So two things here. First off, this is a heck of a move by the Minnesota Timberwolves. Made the playoffs for the first time in many years. I haven't done my research at this moment, but it was many years. Carl Towns yesterday signs a $220 million extension, and they want to play Carl Towns at power forward. They get one of the great defensive centers uh, mm. we've ever seen to put in the center to help their defense. This is a major move to get a guy like this in his prime under long-term contract to a place like Minnesota. The co complexity of the West just changed. But let me just shift to point two here. Yesterday, the Royce O'Neal trade was a rebuilding style trade. This is a rebuilding style trade. Mm -hmm. Now what? <laughs> I'll tell you now what. I mean, let's just be, let's just lay it out there. These moves set up a trade for Donovan Mitchell out of Utah. Oh. That is what this sets up. Not saying it's definitely going to happen, but when you look at these moves over the course of the last 24 hours, Royce O'Neal getting traded for a first-round pick. This, the Utah Jazz now trading Rudy Gobert, their franchise center, for essentially a bunch of contracts and a bunch of picks. They signed Will Hardy, who was the um, assistant coach of the Boston Celtics, to a five-year contract, a young coach, giving him a long, extended run. That's a move you make if you're going into a real rebuilding phase. And Danny Age, as Brian said this morning, nine years ago for the Boston Celtics, traded Paul Pierce and Kevin Garnett to the, Boston, to the Brooklyn Nets for all their picks for years to come and set that team up on a rebuilding track with Brad Stevens as a first-time head coach. Couple more breadcrumbs. Royce O'Neal is one of uh, Donovan Mitchell's best friends on the team, if not his best friend. He was traded away. Uh, Eric Paschal has been one of Donovan Mitchell's best friends his entire life. The Jazz released him or let him out of his contract. He will no longer be on the team. That happened yesterday. So yesterday, they made two moves to sort of move off of two of Donovan Mitchell's right. teammates, and now we have this. Well, let's not talk around it. I mean, we're talking about where, where, where's Donovan Mitchell going to go? I mean, what is well, I would, I would that say would be this. the big news here, right? I would say this. I would say if you are the Phoenix Suns, you're going to call the Jazz. Say, can we offer you a whole bunch of stuff to get Donovan Mitchell? And on the other line, you're going to call the Brooklyn Nets. Say, how do you feel about Donovan Mitchell? Now, they're going to have competition for it. And this is if even jazz, the Jazz are doing this. But that move yesterday telegraphed to the league that a big breakup was coming. Mm. So now the Jazz, we're going to have to see whether this is a partial breakup or a full breakup. But if you're in Utah and you have a brand new president, you have a brand new coach, and you just traded your all-star, it doesn't make much sense to do a half measure full rebuild. How do you think this plays out, Tim? I mean, look, it's, it, Donovan Mitchell is a young star. He's on a long-term contract. You could argue the Jazz could try to rebuild around him. At the same time, they're in a small market. He's got two or three years to go on his deal. And as Brian said, every single move that's happened over the past few weeks with the Utah Jazz would seem to indicate they're going to tear this thing down to the studs. And if they do that, that means they're trading Donovan Mitchell at some point here in the future. Yet another huge potential move in the NBA, and we will, of course, keep you posted on all of this as it continues to break. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.